Oh, things are about to get very embarrassing. I was watching The Gabby Show, and uh, it was an older episode from sometime last year, and uh, she'd gotten out her poems and songs from her angsty teenage years, and as she was going over some of her work, I thought, I have my own poem book from when I was an emo teenager with all sorts of first world problems. So I thought I would kind of copy her and show you guys some of my writings from when I was 13, 14, 15 years old. I've written songs my whole life, but you know, as a child, they're pretty innocent. Uh, as you get older, um, hormones happen. <laughs> I don't know why I saved this because honestly, when I read through it, I'm like, these need to go in the trash. It's just so dark. Like, gosh, I had a pretty dang good life, okay? Like, I was not a starving child. I, I had more than I needed. Um, this was the notebook that I had. Looks pretty innocent until, <laughs> oh my gosh. You're bleeding on my shirt. Love doesn't die. People do. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. Where's my smile? I've lost my laugh. I've lost my style. Has anyone seen it? Where's my smile? Check in my room and under the bed. Open the cupboard and look in the shed. Will it ever come back or is it gone for good? Somebody might find it. I hope someone would. So look up on the ceiling. Look under the tile. Just somebody please help me find my smile. <laughs> So I wrote this, it's called Sadness Has Come By, and it actually has, can you see that? S-A-D, Sadness Has Come By, all the way down. And I even wrote in the corner what they were about. This one was was about um, um, a relationship that, actually this was my first relationship. My first ever boyfriend had broken up with me. And I don't know why. Anyway, he broke up with me and I, I was just so heartbroken. You know, first puppy love and... Um, Sorry for the things I've said. After all, I'm wrong. Doing that, I lost your love. Now you've been gone so long. It was like a month. Everyone makes mistakes, so give me one more try. Several days have gone by. Have you seen the tears I've cried? As you know, I've been left cold. So can, can, you, can you consider taking me back? Can you forgive and forget, even though I did nothing wrong? Or are you through with that? Me while well, I'm lost without you, even ask my heart. Believe me, I'm sorry. You don't know how I feel when we're apart. Aw. I didn't even, I didn't have my first boyfriend until eighth grade. I was homeschooled a lot of my life. And I mean, I went through this really ugly child phase where I was like, oh, like, oh, I was so ugly. And so I didn't have the attention of boys. And, um, then when I did in junior high, when I figured out how to do my makeup and quit dyeing my hair like this blood orange red color, uh, that, hey, I could get the attention of someone. <laughs> and um, we dated, I think, for like three months. And um, he broke my heart. Or so I thought when I was 14, 15. I remember our first date. Actually, our first and only date that we actually went out was to the SpongeBob movie. And we went with my grandma. <laughs> so romantic. Oh my gosh, these are so bad. Your ex. A heart broken, shattered, unable to fix. So hurt it's impossible to get over this. I miss you already, I'm crying inside. Another love will be too hard to find. <laughs> wow. Okay. Why did he break up with me? Is there another girl? Someone with more style than me who can rock your world? I guess I wasn't good enough for you. I don't understand though, what did I do? I told you my secrets, I gave you my heart. And yesterday you tore it all apart. Somehow I'll move on now that you hate me. So now I'm just your ex-girlfriend and that's all I'll ever be. Wow. And this one was about the loss of a friend of mine, my best friend, her name was Ashley. She didn't die or anything, she just had like drug problems, like pot. You know, back then, I even thought that, you know, cigarettes and even drinking, anything like that was so bad. And I, like, didn't talk to people for months because they'd been smoking or something like that. And I used to think that pot alone was just, like, the devil. The devil. All right, I don't think that anymore. I don't like it. I don't like the smell of it. 
but I don't hate people that do it either. Like, I get it now. This life is my punishment. This friendship can't last. We loved the times we had together. The memories have passed. Now your disappointing words and the hurt left in my heart. The drugs that left you so messed up are tearing you apart. I will not judge you as you judge yourself. I tried to get through to you. I was good for your health. But now you will no longer see my sympathy or my care. I wanted to be your bestie, but you won't treat me fair. Look at yourself, then look at me. You think you're cool and clever. As much as I despise you, you'll be in my heart forever. She's not in my heart. Like, I don't wish her any bad feelings or anything like that, but we just lost, we lost communication kind of after that, actually. <sighs> Standing in my place. Little backstory here. I used to write most of my work about my stepdad, who <laughs> I used to antagonize terribly. Oh my gosh. But the, the problem was he was more like a brother to me than a dad. Like he, he wasn't, oh gosh, he wasn't as mature as a stepdad should be. And so we fought constantly. Oh my gosh. We fought so bad all the time. Monday night is a wreck and Tuesday's just the same. Mom says one thing, dad says another. Somehow I'm always to blame. My mom tries to protect me and pushes him away. I should have never come home tonight because it always ends up this way. My brother looks so scared now. We know dad's crossed the line. The anger in his face brings shiver down, shivers down my spine. The yelling echoes down the street. There's holes in the door. Mom takes us somewhere safe. We can handle this no more. I know she will never leave him. She did. Uh, she says that he can change. She lets him get away with things that cause me so much pain. She's holding me tight with tears running down her face. I know she's also sad, but she's not standing in my place. It's <laughs> I didn't even title this one. There's no need for a title on this. You're gonna hate yourself when you see what you've lost was not a part, but every bit of me. I never asked to constantly mis be misused. You just don't see that I have deep feelings too. <laughs> Um, do you even know me? Do you know who I've become? To you, I'm just a brat, a no one, undeserving of your love. <laughs> I'm a peasant, a pest. You're a queen, you have a king. You'll laugh with him as you watch me. Oh! Never mind, that's too dark. So you've lost me now. The puzzle has turned black. Yeah, it once was my heart you broke. Now give me the pieces back. <laughs> Okay. My eyes are bloodshot, my nails bit to the core. My body's so cold and numb, I can hardly breathe anymore. Trapped in this house, no time to escape. Eyes filled with so much anger and so much hate. Keep pushing me, I'm pulling away, but still so close to the edge. Sometimes I wonder if they really want me dead. This one is called Drugs. And it's about how much I hate pot, like I mentioned previously. This is a poem that I thought was very deep, and uh, mostly because it didn't rhyme. Don't have to rhyme every time I sang. It was more supposed to be like a slam poem before slam poem was even, like slam poetry was even a thing. Like, snap for me, people, snap for me. Gosh, I was such an attention seeker as a child. There's people all around me, tempting me, pushing me. Wanting to try dope and weed. Wanting me to try dope and weed, sorry. I stand my ground as they fall and tear themselves apart. One puff or just one sip, try it once. They're trying to convince me. What's so special about it? Does it calm you down? I don't care, it's not my thing. It doesn't even look cool. As I watch them swallow the alcohol and cough from the pot, I ask, is it worth it? See for yourself, they say. It's not worth it to me to become addicted to such a pathetic, kill yourself slowly idea. I turn it down. I'm no more a part of their posse. I don't care. I'm drug free and happier without them. <laughs> I've had some of like the best friends that I've had for 10 years. Like, I don't know how any of you has, have stuck with me my like that whole 10 years because, oh my gosh, I was such an annoying teenager. Oh my goodness. Thank you for putting up with me and sticking with me and always being there for me, even though I am completely ridiculous. Thank you. I made the smart choice. I am healthy and alive. So is it worth it, you ask? No, it's not worth it. The end. Let me bow. Yes, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you. I think I have one more. 
Mm -mm. My name's Blurry Face and I care what you think. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. So I wrote this one. I think it was like 13 when I wrote this one. You know, when things just started going so hard. Things were so hard back then. You are ruining our lives, but I won't let you win. Um, our hearts are broken because of your selfish sin. I hope you're satisfied. <laughs> broken hearts and tear-filled eyes. Look at the pain you've caused. Taunting us all the time and hurting us. I hope you're satisfied. Why... <laughs> Why have you let Satan rule your life? You're turning into him. <laughs> we haven't been happy now because of your filthy sins. Wow! Oh my gosh! I swear I am not like this bad. I was raised in church, like very strict, every Sunday and every Wednesday we went. But I swear, like, I am not one of those people that is like all judgy and like, you're going to hell for saying a bad word. You watch porn, so you're going to hell. Why do you do things, the things you do? Why must I suffer? It's your fault too. I've never hated one as much as I hate you. Oh, so godly of me. You've torn, because you've torn my heart in two. So are you satisfied? That's it for, that's all I'm going to share with you guys. Sadly, this whole book is, is full of, of writings like this. I think I may actually burn it now that um, I've read them out loud. Let's never do this again. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really didn't have anything, any other ideas of what to do. And I know I've been gone for a couple weeks. And uh, I'm kind of trying to broaden this, the YouTube spectrum because I'm getting copyrighted for all the music I'm doing. And I don't want to get into any trouble. So I'm here stealing ideas from Gabby. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, be sure to subscribe and like and all that good stuff. And let me know if you've written anything as bad as this because I'm sure that it couldn't be worse. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Bye!